to The Travelling Introvert, and today I want to talk about, and I've talked about this before, but uh, saying no, and how to do it the right way. It's super easy to feel guilty and want to avoid conflict, or simply want to make other people feel good. However, if you don't say no, it can consume your whole life on how other people react and you know, you might get stressed because of other people's happiness. Your happiness is kind of more important. So in fact, saying no more often is crucial to accomplishing your goals and aspirations. And actually it's something that I've struggled with the past couple of weeks, um, where I wanted to say no and I wanted to, um, set boundaries and found it incredibly hard. And so this has been helpful to me. No is not always a negative. Behind every no, there's also a yes. So what I mean is when you say no, you're also saying yes to another opportunity that can better serve you in your life. Just because you're saying no doesn't mean like no right now or no forever. Saying no means that you're committed to your values and goals and what your boundaries. And it's all, you can always say yes without considering everybody. It's fine. The sad truth is you will always, you know, need to think about yourself first. Stick to and establish, establish and stick to your boundaries. The only person you are responsible for is yourself. And you can't expect others to know what you need if you don't speak up. Say something. <laughs> Practice assertive communication. Always speak up about your boundaries and don't be afraid to let others know. If they can't respect your boundaries, you don't need them in your life. They're only going to hold you back. You're only going to feel guilty and resentful and a whole bunch of other things which will just get you down and have you feeling overwhelmed. And I know it's not that easy. So finding the right words is hugely important. You don't just say no. There are other ways uh, to let people know why you can't do it. Suggest an alternative or provide a reason why you can't do it. Let them know that it doesn't work with your schedule or your timing's wrong. The more you can communicate and the more information you can give them as far as I'm not doing this because of X, Y, and Z, will stop them asking you again, but not necessarily in a bad way. If you are like, I can't do this on Mondays, then they'll ask you for Tuesdays instead. So setting the right boundaries and using the right words are really helpful. Take the personal out of it. In other words, you're not saying no to the person asking. You're simply saying no to the activities that they want you to do. Often people don't say no because they're afraid to offend the person. However, not being fully honest with yourself isn't fair on them either. Instead, realize it isn't about the person, but rather what they asked for. More likely than not, they'll understand why you are respectively declining their request. If you're always saying yes to people and activities that you don't enjoy, then you're not really being you. You're not really living your life. You're living the life you think other people expect from you. And is that really what you want to do? Yes, you might be avoiding conflict, but you will easily create more by being dishonest with yourself and the people around you. A vague yes versus a firm no can be seen as more harmful as your lack of commitment and poor attitude are noticeable. And it means people can't rely on what you say. And that's something really, really important. Um, seeming wishy-washy isn't a great thing. Knowing when to say yes and when to say no, or when to say, let me check my schedule, let me check my calendar, let me get back to you within the next 24 hours, whatever it might be, is far better than being like, yeah, I guess. It, it just it just doesn't work. So in the end, saying no allows you far more control and ease and less stress with your life and will help you accomplish more. It's not about making others feel unwanted. It's not about being rude. It's about ensuring you are using your time wisely and doing the things that you want to do and following the path that you want to go on and where you want to be and your goals in life. Once you find a balance that works for you, you'll never regret saying no because of reasons that you value in your life. Thanks for listening. This is Janice at thecareerintrovert.com, helping you build your brand and get hired. If you have any questions that you want me to answer on the show, email me at Janice at thecareerintrovert.com. Have a great rest of your week. <laughs>